Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here. And hopefully this time, something edible. Because last week's was not. Uh, so this is going to be a another civilian ration. Uh, but not... I got this off eBay, so I've, I've experienced something like this. But it's not this. And I'll get to that. So what we have is a... Good Mood Meals, menu number three, ready to eat meal. Meal ready to eat set menu number three. This is a beef, beef, beef goulash with buckwheat and mushrooms. You get rye bread, chocolate bar, sugar, roasted beans, honey, oatmeal, uh, sorry, oat porridge with blueberries, raisins and dried cranberries, and a black tea. Additional items, you got a heating element, spoon, wet wipe, napkins, toothpick stick, and an information sheet. Here are the particulars on that. It weighs in at 828 grams or uh, one pound 13.2 ounces. Now the reason I say I've been here, but I haven't, is because of these. And we all know what these are. Uh, that's the new Latvian military ration. Now, oddly enough, and there's our manufacturer right here, and as you can see up here, if I do this correctly in editing, same company. So what I believe this is, is exactly what it states, it's the same company making rations for the civilian market and marketing them like this instead of like like that. So let's give this a try. Uh, this is good before 03-12-2024, so we are within date. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, 1729 kilcals, 660 grams, 770 grams gross weight, that's the net weight. Um, and then your saturated fats, carbs, sugars, protein, salt, yada, yada. Excuse me, I'm interested to see, and I'll have to look it up. Maybe I'll put a picture over here, maybe not. Um, what menu number three is in the Latvian meals, the new Latvian meals. Uh, it could be the identical menu. I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, it does have a, I think it has a zip seal on it. Not really sure. I'm actually delaminating a bit right here. Which does not speak bode well to the packaging. But so anyway, there's, there's a tear notch at the top here, so works about as well as most tear notches do. Oh, at least that one works from the other side. Sorry, up in the world here. Let's get this out. Ta da! Empty Mylar bag. It smells a little fruity inside. Set that to the side. We have our rye bread, which is unfortunately busted in half, but not much you can do about that. Rye bread with protein and gives you packaging information there. Love that stuff. Got some metis or some honey. No surprise there. We have roasted beans. Um, which to my blind eyes I don't think they're salted. I think they're just roasted beans. Um, the Latvian ones I've tried had the roasted lentils in it. Uh, raisins and cranberries. I guess you can yeah you can tell them apart vaguely. Uh, your 300 gram main course, which is your beef goulash with buckwheat and mushrooms. There's your details there. 
Water, beef ham cooked. I don't know what beef ham is. It sounds exciting. Though. 2021 production date, best before 2024. I believe this picture has appeared in amongst the Latvian rations that I've seen advertised on eBay. Obviously it's gusseted, as is the ration, it's, ration itself. We have a chocolate bar, 50 grams, best before 2025. All of our details there. Uh, does not seem to. Cocoa mass, sugar, whey powder, cocoa butter. Does not say what a percentage is, so it may just be a generic ish chocolate. Oh, a little accessory bag. That's nice. Oh, and that would be our. Oh, flakes with blueberries, 40 grams. 100 mils boiling water, wait eight minutes. Best before, 0312, 2024. And there's our packaging, uh, our production details, I should say, on there. We do get an F4H with a piece of tape by Luxfer Magtech. Uh, fill only up to here. These guys are... Oh. G. Schultz on the back. Sounds like Mrs. Joe's walking partner has shown up for her stint. Sure, who these guys? Where are these guys are from? Doesn't really matter. We have our bag, which is resealable. And inside we have. Well, we also have as well our pause for the cause. If you must, if you wish. Again, here is the manufacturer. Uh, we have 20 grams of sugar. Napkin. Some Lloyd the Magic Experience Ceylon black tea in a bag. A wet nap. And this obviously is very reminiscent of the stylized um, Packaging for the other ration, and we have a wooden spoon and a weak spoon. Let me put this together, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so apparently even when you're not the brightest bulb on the planet, like me, and you do something stupid like, oh, I don't know, tear the wrong notch on the FRH and go for the low notch, which is what you're supposed to do after you heat the meal, not before, you can still vaguely save your butt by doing this. So it back in to there, all steamy. No, it did not work the greatest. Yeah, it still kind of stinks. It's a little wet. Um, Had not that, had not thought that far in advance here. Hang on. We need those. I got that out anyway for those. So let's just dump this in there. Here works like a hot dam. That's what our beef goulash with mushrooms looks like. Up she comes in pretty much one goopy piece. Not bad. Oh, there we go. Obviously, uh, barley. I care to pay any attention to oh sorry beef buckwheat duh buckwheat and mushrooms I need that keep the heat in on our oatmeal which we should probably try for uh, when in doubt that's pretty solid looking uh, that was supposed to have Blueberries in it? Oh, wait. There's one, maybe two, maybe three. It's like looking for friggin' cherries in fruit cocktail. It's oatmeal. A little bitter, but honestly, I'm just coming to associate that with oats now, because that um, Norwegian Arctic that oat porridge was was pretty bitter too. But wouldn't be bad for breakfast. It's stodgy. Um. You got 20 grams of sugar. I don't know if I'd use it, but you got it. Might want to get those calories. Um, oh, yeah. That smells so good. That molasses. That dark, dark smell that this kind of bread has. Hmm. There's a bit of plastic separating the two. Slices. Dry flour, water, bean protein, soy flour, sugar, wheat flour, rye malt. Yeah, so it, it's actually coming from the flour. It doesn't look like there's any sort of molasses or caramel color or anything added to that. Always love that stuff. Mm. Heated the honey up a bit too. I don't. I don't know if that would. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't that badly crystallized to begin with.
definitely a deep note to that honey. Goes well with the <clears throat> sourness to the bread. Sorry, talking with my mouth full again. Our beans. Mm -hmm. The roasted, no salt. Um, sorry, <coughs> a little dry. Um, try our Ceylon tea. So it's steeping for a bit. It'll be hotter than Hades, but. It's a good cup of black tea. Um, yeah, I, I do buy um, Chinese broad beans at a um, local grocery store, and they are fried, but they are salted and seasoned. Almost identical texture. Cranberries and raisins. Again, you can tell them apart, obviously. Raisin, cranberry on the left, raisin on the right, but in the packaging with it being kind of shiny. And sweet. I guess that's our beef ham there. Give that a try. Hmm, that's good. Again, stodgy. Can you tell there's mushrooms in there? Hmm, not really. It doesn't have like a super mushroom forward taste to it um, I don't think we really need our sugar on anything but for chocolate again <clears throat> 2024 expiry so it's still in date I wouldn't expect it to be wound uh, nice break clean break too Mm. A little on the darker side, not too sweet. Nice crunch to it though. Um, and just for giggles. give but it's definitely a paper or sorry um, cloth product not a paper product it smells almost like like a laundry soap like not in like a harsh chemical way but like a excuse me forest meadow kind of way Hmm. And I forgot my tape, which probably wouldn't have helped anyway. Anyway, um, be right back. Okay, so we have our steaming cup of tea, sort of. 20 grams of sugar we didn't use. Napkin. Toothpick. This is vaguely steaming away still. for accuracy sakes uh, 
There's T-Bag. Cheers to that. 168 grams or... Five point nine ounces. So that was a Latvian civilian made, I believe, by the same company that makes the military ones. Twenty twenty one ration. Uh, menu number three: uh, beef with buckwheat and mushrooms. Pretty darn tasty. I'm Bourbon Street Joe, and I'm out.